What's going on guys? Today, I wanna to take a look at a plugin that you may already have, know, use, and love, but I wanna use it in a way that probably a lot of you guys have never thought about using it. So what I did was I used this plugin to help me mix my background vocals. I had one single take of background vocals and I split them into a few sections and with one click, easily applied crazy new sonic ideas to each of the clips. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so the plugin that we're using is Echo Boy by Sound Toys. And in and of itself, this is an amazing and versatile delay unit, but we're not gonna use it as a delay unit. We're gonna focus in on this section right here. And at first, I could see how it doesn't look super amazing, right? A little unassuming. But this section right here, the styles menu, allows us to do a lot of very crazy things and very quickly. Before I show you exactly how I took all of my clips and used Echo Boy to place them into the mix, let's just take some soloed audio and scroll through these styles so you guys can see how drastic of a change each one actually is. So the first thing we have to do to get this to work the way I was mentioning earlier, not like a delay unit, but more featuring this styles function, is we have to go over here and do a few things. We have to actually go over here and turn our mix all the way up to wet, okay? And turn our echo time all the way down to zero, all right? Now it will not really focus in on the delays at all, but we can go over here and take advantage of our styles dropdown, okay? So in here, if you click on here, we've got many, many, many different options here to choose from, and they all have a very unique and distinct style. I went ahead and copied down some audio, so we can just go ahead and go through a few of these. I just wanna demo here how drastically these styles will actually change your audio and place them in different spots in the sonic image, allowing for a lot of quick, creative decisions. All right, let's check some out. These different styles allow you to radically change the sonic quality of really any audio clip. Sure, I used it on background vocals, but I think after you see my explanation, here, your imagination really is the limit and you could use this on any audio at all. There's actually over 30 different styles here to choose from, from hi-fi to subtle warmth to lo-fi to classic stomp box and everything in between. Check out the Echo Boy manual for the full list and descriptions of each of these styles. But to be honest, I think you should just listen to them and see how they sound and fit in your mix. In and of itself, these are amazing, but it doesn't stop there. Because if you click right here on the style editor, you have a versatile and powerful tool to really take these presets and sculpt them to exactly what you're looking for. Now, I don't want this to be like an instruction manual, but I do wanna go through this panel in a way so you can understand how to take advantage of these extra parameters. So the main things that I wanna look at down here are the EQ section, the diffusion section and the wobble section, as I tried to use them in the demo so you can see how they really affect the sound. So as I scroll through the different styles, you'll notice the bottom parameters change. That's because each style comes with a predetermined preset, but each preset can be edited. So for this particular double, I decided to use the digital chorus option. But when I first listened to it, I thought it was a little bit darker than I wanted. So I decided to use the EQ section to rectify the situation. Before demoing this, I wanna call your attention to the decay knob. Now the decay knob controls how the tone of the echoes sound. So to actually hear the effect of the decay parameter, you need to have the feedback knob turned up. And in this case, in the way we're 
we're using Echo Boy, it is not turned up. So we'll disregard the decay knob for now. But let's take a listen to the double and see if we could brighten it up a little using the EQ section. We have an EQ featuring high and low shelves and a middle EQ with a variable frequency. So I'm gonna go over here and turn down some of the gain in my low shelf and turn up some of the high. Okay, perfect. That really brightened it up. And if we listen to it in the mix, you'll see it does fit nicely with the other vocal. Right next to the EQ section, we have the diffusion section. Now, the way we're gonna use this is we're going to use this to create a sort of blurry, smeary, metallic-y, almost pseudo-reverb sound to our doubles. So the amount of diffusion is obviously the amount of this effect that we're going to be adding, and the size control adjusts the character of this diffusion effect we're going for. Smaller settings will produce something more subtle and even phasing, and larger settings can produce a more reverb-like effect. Now the loop and the post switch, we're gonna kind of ignore because these are more applicable for affecting the actual echoes. And again, we're not doing that. So we've got the double soloed. Let's go ahead and mess with these parameters so you can hear what they sound like. And I kind of like something like that. I think that'll sound really nice. Let's go ahead and hear it again in the mix. Before we get to the wobble section, I want to circle back to the EQ section for one moment here. We're going to move on to a different double part right here, this section here. And this was a little bit thick in the mid range for me. So I wanted to use the EQ to dial that out, but I wanted to be a little more specific about what frequency. So here's a pro tip. If I go up to the actual frequency word, and this works for any parameter at all, every, every single parameter. If I click here, it'll actually show me what the Hertz is that I'm actually on. So I'm actually adjusting 511 Hertz here. Again, you could do this on any parameter at all, and it all works the same. So that's a cool pro tip that if you didn't know, you could take advantage of. Anyway, I use this to dial out a little bit of my mid range, sitting it a little bit better for me in the mix. Now let's head over to the wobble section. All right, over in the wobble section, we've got a couple of controls here. So we've got depth, rate, sync and shape, which is down here at the bottom. We've got a couple of different shapes inside here. There's actually sine, triangle, square, random walk, and random sample hold. Okay, we're gonna just stick to the sign. What I'm actually doing here is sort of creating a pseudo Haas effect with this section. The rate knob controls the speed of the wobble pitch. Okay, so obviously at a slower speed, the pitch will change slowly and vice versa for a higher speed. Okay, I didn't want a big change in the pitch, so I kept it at a lower rate. And over here on the sync knob, again, if you click it, it'll tell you the actual number. Okay, so what this is going to do is actually separate the audio a little bit from the left and the right. So when it's at the 12 o'clock position, the phase and rate will be identical for both left and right channels. As you turn it to the left or right, it will actually put the pitch variation out of phase and we'll be able to hear that. So let's actually check that out. By the way, you need to have the out switch engaged. This will apply the wobble modulation to the wet signal. And since our whole signal is wet, we're good. All right, so let me go ahead and play it once turned off, and then I'll play it once turned on, and you'll hear exactly what it's doing. Let's actually check it out in the mix. Oh, 
The thing I like about this approach is Echo Boy's advanced features allow you to create effects that normally would require a complicated chain of other plugins to achieve. But you could do it quickly and creatively using only one plugin and staying in the flow, allowing you to put creativity first. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and maybe found a new and exciting way to use one of your favorite plugins. All right, if you have any questions, pop it down in the comments and we'll get right back to you. All right, catch you guys later.